reading. Earthling Log Day 54,289, Hour 7. Tom and Nagara Rainforest, Malaysia. <clears throat> After several hours at the Earthling's Rainforest Burrow, we have deduced that this particular Earthling may, in fact, be nocturnal. What do you think, Mosey? <clears throat> Mosey? Mosey! <clears throat> what? <clears throat> End of observation. Mosey, you fell asleep again. No, I didn't. I was just resting my eye and laying down and practicing my purring. Mosey, you agreed to help me with the stakeout, remember? Stakeout? I thought you said takeout. <sighs> that explains the lack of pizza. Uh-huh. And why we've been looking at that dirt hole for the last three hours. That's not a dirt hole, Mosey. That is the home of a very special nocturnal earthling. And it's our job to wait out here until he wakes up so we can interview him for our How to Be an Earthling Guide. Uh-huh. So this little earthling is the reason why I'm out here sitting in the mud and not back on the spaceship going through my nightly slime care routine and watching the real gooblers of Trophomador 5. That is correct. Now, could you please hand me that caffeinated bean juice? I think we may be here for a while. Ugh. Riding through the solar system, our spaceship hit a rock. So we thought we'd look around And learn about this planet From the creatures that we found And when they speak they always sing So we learn from all the animals How to be an earthling Your respiration seems to be growing more erratic. No, I'm not okay, Flip. I'm bored. Bored, bored, bored! Oh, oh and hungry. We've been out here for hours. Well, you should have eaten before we left the space dinghy. I did eat, Flip. I even brought snacks. But look, I'm all out of jerry jerky, and there's nothing but raisins left in the trail mix. You'll just have to be patient, Mosey. It's like my elders used to always say, the best things in life come to those that are stationary. But Flip, gah, what was that? It was probably nothing, Mosey. Just keep your eye on that hole over there. Nothing? It didn't sound like nothing. <gasps> what if it's one of those long, slimy, little bitey thingies? You mean a snake? Is that what you call those danger noodles? Um... Or maybe it's one of those big orange striped furry things with the claws! A tiger? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I think I'd remember if it had a ridiculous name like tiger. <laughs> tiger! Tiger! <laughs> tiger! Tiger! Oh, it's getting closer! It is not getting closer, Mosey. Calm down! I don't know, Flip. I'm just a little spooked by this place. It's just so unfamiliar. I shine back everywhere I'm looking. I hear a bunch of creepy things. I don't get the jungle. So flip, take the ship. Let's make a trip and go back from whence we came. Okay? Oh, Mosey, you don't know what you're saying. Nobody. 
everybody. <gasps> Hiding from a flashlight. We're in the jungle at night. Boy, I miss the daylight. We're in the jungle at night. night. I gotta handle my fright. Wait, we're just in the jungle at night. Mosey, it is all right. We're, we're just in the jungle, jungle at night. night. It's a whole different world, but light just fades away. Put it that way, okay, I think I get your meaning, I guess this place is kind of neat, yeah. you and, and me could boogie down, down to the sounds of, of all the nocturnal animals on this funky jungle, jungle beat, yeah. it's a whole different world when life just fades away. Nothing. Would you chill out, man? Uh, Flip? <laughs> yes, Mosey? Was that you? Negative. <laughs> well, if it wasn't you, then... <clears throat> who was it? Over here, man. Yeah! Um, Mosey, is it me, or did that ball-like rock just talk to us? Oh, man, I knew eating those two-week-old nachos was a bad idea. No, there's no need to panic, friendos. Let, let me just unfurl myself here. Whoa! Good morning. Morning? <laughs> what do you mean, good morning? It's almost 9 o'clock at night. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm still waking up. My name's Pang. Uh -huh. <sighs> yeah, it's short for pangolin. Because that's what I am. I'm, I'm a pangolin. Oh, I get it. A very clever nickname. <laughs> hey there, Peng. My name is Mosey, and this is Flip. Yeah, hi. I love that shell outfit you're wearing. <laughs> you have that whole uh, walking pine cone vibe going on. Yeah, yeah. those are my scales. Uh, in fact, some people call me Scaly Anteater. Yeah. Because you look like a Scaly Anteater. <laughs> Another fantastic nickname. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I have to say, I, I know almost every animal in these parts. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen you two here before. What brings you to this neck of the woods? We are currently learning all about nocturnal animals for our guide on how to be an earthling. Oh, well, well, today's your lucky day. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I'm a nocturnal animal, man. Yeah, you are. Well then, we should interview you for our entry on nocturnal animals. Oh, okay. If you could just... Wait! Flip! I just had an original idea. Yes? We should interview Pang for our entry on nocturnal animals. I <laughs> just said... Didn't I just say that? Yeah. Maybe. I wasn't really listening. What do you think? It sounds like you just want to go back to the spaceship so you can watch your intergalactic dating show and get some more snacks. Of course I do, Flip. I'm starving. Listen. Ooh, is that your stomach, man? One of them, yeah. Okay, fine. We will interview Pang. First of all, I have a short survey here. If you could just answer yes or no to the following. How did you turn yourself into that funky little rock ball? <laughs> well, that's simple. Yeah, so first take your two front legs. Uh, yeah. Huh? Um, what if you've got three and what if they're tentacles? No, 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 it's cool. Now you're just gonna hold them up over your head like this. Yep. And then just curl yourself up into a ball. 
My flaps just don't fold that way. You, you're almost there. That's no good. No, keep going. I think I just snapped my snargle. Oh, oh. oh don't worry. <laughs> You'll get the hang of it eventually. Rolling yourself into a ball certainly is an interesting hobby. Oh, well, that's not a hobby. Yeah, that, that, my friends, is a defensive mechanism. A defensive whatnism? A defensive mechanism, Mosey, is a type of behavior that certain Earthlings display to protect themselves from other animals that may want to harm them. Yeah, when you're as tasty as I am, you got to find a way to keep those other animals at bay. Yeah, I'm, I'm a legit snack. And you're saying the best way to do that is to curl up into a little ball? Oh, yeah, man. When I curl on up like this... Yeah, nothing's getting through this show. Oh, Krasnitz! That's so cool! I want a scaly pine cone shell! And once you have curled yourself into a ball, what is your next course of action to protect yourself from predators? Oh, yeah, well, once I'm in my ball... I pluck up all my courage. Uh-huh. Yeah, I tighten all my muscles. Yeah? And I wait. You wait? <laughs> yeah. It's what we pangolins do best. Okay. Check it out, guys. Out here in the jungle. <laughs> well, to coin a phrase, it's kind of like a jungle. In the sense that on most days it can be a dangerous place Somewhere that a pangolin like me Has to look out on the regular From lots of kinds of predators Yeah, we're small and scaly You couldn't prick us with the safety pin And in all the animal kingdom Pangolin has got the thickest skin But of all our adaptations is one that stands out better than the rest. <laughs> yeah, it's true, friendos. You see, the most pangolin thing of all is not just a rolling into a ball. It isn't our thick scales or our surprisingly useful tails. And it's not that we're tough as nails. And it's not something we bought at Bloomingdale's. The most pangolin thing you see is our uncanny uh, uh, you didn't finish your sentence. It's our ability to be. Uh, well, you, you, you still didn't finish the sentence. <laughs> Wait for it. Mm. To be what? Friends, it's to be patient. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> got you. <laughs> Could you, uh, give us a specific example, please? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, oh, I got one here. Say you were up on a hillside and the birds start squawking loud. Cause who should be on their way coming but a hungry lion looking proud? Well, I just curl myself up into that little ball that you guys found. And no matter what he does, he just can't get in. And sooner or later, he knows I win. They say patience is a virtue. Well, for me, it's a bit more than that. See, patience is about survival. And survive I do and that. Cause I can always wait longer than anyone who wants a bite of me. <laughs> My friends, you see, the most pangolin thing of all is not just rolling into a ball. It isn't our thick scales or our surprisingly useful tails. And it's not like we're tough as nails or something we bought at Bloomingdale's. And it's why I'm so carefree, even though I'm a delicacy. The most pangolin thing you see is our uncanny ability. Why, it's our ability to, uh, to be. Mm-hmm, this again, right, yeah, I remember this bit. Mosey. Can you, can, can you finish? Yeah, 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 wait for it, wait for it. It's, it's a to to be. <sighs> can you just finish the sentence, oh, yeah. though? You feel that? Presidents, when is he gonna say it? Mosey. That's right. 
just to be patient. Little patience can go a long way, amigo. See, Mosey? All you need to do is have a little patience and everything will turn out just fine. Yeah. Uh-huh. Whoa, what in the anthill was that? That was my stomachs being patient. Hmm, sorry. Some of us didn't consider our nutrition density intake before leaving the ship. Wait, you guys are hungry. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> my, my favorite little spot's just around the corner. Come on, come, come on, come on. I'm so hungry, Flip. You think he's leaving us to nachos? Mm -hmm. I doubt it, Mosey. Ooh, <gasps> or maybe some of those PB and or J's I've been hearing so much about. Just over here. Oh, you know what I can really go for. A tall glass of partially gelatinated, non-dairy gum-based beverage. <gasps> Actually, Mosey, here on Earth they call them milkshakes. <laughs> milkshakes. You don't know what you're getting. Uh-huh. Here we are. Uh, Flip? Yes, Mosey? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I don't know, Mosey. Are you seeing a six-foot-tall pile of dirt? What? This, friends, are some of the freshest, finest, most mouth-watering termites this side of the equator. I I I've been coming here for years. Y you're going to want to put this place in that, in that guide of yours. Uh-huh. Yeah. Write that down, Flip. <laughs> so, Peng, when you say termites, uh -huh. you mean the tiny insects that live in large underground colonies? Yeah, yeah, I, I can't get enough of these things. I, I eat like 70 million of them every year. <laughs> 70 million? Yeah, I I'm an insectivore, man. <laughs> well, what can I say? I, I only eat insects. Well, if you're eating 70 million of these termites a year, they must be good. Flip, hand me my eating bib. Sounds like someone's ready to dig in. <laughs> okay, so to get to them, you're gonna wanna stick out your tongue here like this. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, okay. Then you see that that hole in the top of the termite mound here? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, so you're gonna wanna put your tongue like all the way down into that hole. Oh, and make sure it's covered in saliva so the termites stick to it. Uh-huh. And just slurp them back up. Nope. I can't do it. I'm out. Oh, what's the problem? My stubby little tongue. That's the problem. Aww. Look at my stubby little tongue. I also have a less than ideal tongue for slurping termites. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget you other creatures don't have 16 inch long tongues. Oh, oh, ho hold on. I have an idea. Take these sticks here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ew! Did you just spit on these sticks? Yeah, man. I mean, if you want to eat, you're going to have to use my saliva to do it. I, it's super sticky. A and when you put that stick down in the hole there, yeah, it's going to help the termites stick to it. Sounds delicious. Well, what are you waiting for? Get to it. Uh, you first, Muzzy. Well. Cublers can't be chuglers. I've been waiting for this moment all evening. I can't wait to see what comes up on this stick. The word termites never sounded so yummy, even if it's caught with pangolin spit. Pang says, this is the best food in the jungle. And finally, I will get to eat. I hear you, stomachs. No more need to grumble, because finally, you will get your treat. Wait, I'm so excited. Let me pull this out here. And, uh, uh, um, uh, hey, uh, what's the big idea? What's well, that, Mosey? It's my stick. I, I'm just so hungry, and there's no termites on that flipper. 
I'm gonna start to, I'm gonna start to panic. Oh, ooh, Now, ooh, just ee. wait a second there, buddy. You've got to slow it all down now, Mosey. Remember that great pangolin trade. If you don't get exactly what you want when you want it, what? remember all you have to do is wait. Right, so take a deep breath and let's try and be more like a pangolin. lesson in mind for the future. Surprising, right? Well, looks like that's my cue to leave. It's starting to get past my bedtime. Ah, so long, friends. Bedtime? But it's so early. Uh, Mosey, he's nocturnal. Oh, yeah, right. Bye, Pang. Sleep tight. Always do. All right, Mosey. Ready to head back to the ship? Mosey. Mosey! Wait a second, Mmm. I just want to take some termites with me in my pockets. Here. Oh, wait. I don't have pockets. Why don't I have pockets? Never mind. I'll just carry them. And this concludes another adventure with another one of this planet's most fascinating Earthlings. Today we met Pang. A pangolin from Malaysia. According to my research, pangolins come in eight different species and can also be found in other parts of Southeast Asia, India, China, and Africa. The name pangolin actually comes from a human word, pangolong, which means to roll. Which is exactly what these earthlings do to protect themselves. They curl up into a tight little scaly ball that not even the most scary orange-clawed earthlings can get through. I told you, Mosey, they're called tigers. <laughs> yeah, good one. <sighs> and how do they get these predators to leave them alone? Oh, by being a little patient and waiting around. A lesson I think we can all learn from. <laughs> That's right. And that's all for this time. Check in again with us soon for another opportunity to learn how to be an Earthling. Well, thank you, Earthlings, for joining us for this guide to how to be an Earthling. We hope we helped you discover something new about your incredible home planets. And if there's one thing we've discovered, is that your planet is big. You got land, sky, and ocean. Sure, that is way too much for any two intergalactic travel guides to cover on our own. So that is where you come in. We need your help. 
we can't do this on our own. I need me time. What Muzzy is trying to say is that we need your contributions to our Earth Guide. If you happen to notice or learn something interesting or unusual about an Earthling species on your planet, please share it with us. <laughs> you can call us on the Selly Telly Ring a Ding Dingy at 1 833 4F L I P M O. That's 1 833 number 4 Flipmo. Write that down. Your field reports may be used on an upcoming Earthlings travel pod. That's one eight three three four flipmo Just like our name. Flip and Mosey's Guide to How to Be an Earthling is a Tinkercast original production. And all of the original songs you heard in this episode were written and arranged by Jason Rabinowitz and the Pop-Ups. How to Be an Earthling is written by Kenny Curtis and Thomas Van Kalken. Written by... What does that mean? That means they put the words in our mouths, Mosey. Oh, okay. Our masterminds of original sound design are Jason Rabinowitz, Ed Rosenberg III, with help from our senior production director, Jed Anderson. Our show is edited by Jacob Stein with additional production assistance from Henry Moskal. Our executive producers are Guy Raz, Mindy Thomas, and Meredith Halpern Ranzer. A tip of the tentacles to the rest of the Earthling team, including Jessica Bodie, Natasha Crandall, Anna Zagorski, Rebecca Leifer, and Joaquin Friedman. And special thanks to the actors you heard in this episode, <laughs> including Jason Rabinowitz. And our Earthling alter egos, Courtney Shaw. And David Ryan Smith. I ate him, and his voice comes through me. Grown-up Earthlings, you can follow us online at EarthlingPod. Our email address is hello at tinkercast.com. And finally, thanks to you for listening. Without you and your planet, we'd probably be in some remote galaxy screaming into the void of a black hole. But now we're screaming in your ears. <laughs> and might I say, those are very oddly shaped appendages. Nosy! Until next time. Book Mosey's Guide to How to Be an Earthling was made by Tinkercast and sent to you by Wondry.